to use these new tools. They are all from Mud Tools based in US but they ship internationally. I'll carry on making things as I usually do but instead I'll use these tools and see how they differ and see how they work and what I like and if I prefer them. Yeah so there's a few things that I do need to do. I am currently making a whale as a commission piece which I'm really enjoying and it's at the point where I need to add details to it so I'm going to do that. I'm videoing the whole process of the whale from beginning to end for a separate video so you'll see it properly there but you'll see a little sneak peek now. Yeah and then I want to make a vase, it's actually for my sister's wedding present, she wanted a handmade vase which obviously I'm excited about because I love doing that. Yeah, don't worry with her seeing this. It's not a surprise. I'm chatting with her through the whole process to see if it's something that she really likes or if she wants a different shape or anything. So yeah, it's not a surprise. It's okay for me to put this up. I wanna kind of experiment with a new kind of vase method or just like making method and make pieces on the wheel and attach them together to make like a bigger piece obviously. So that's what I'm gonna do. Obviously I'm gonna use my new tools um, with that and see how it differs my throwing experience and just making experience all together. I'll take you along and let you know what I think about the tools and yeah if you want to get any of the tools I'll put the link in the description below and yeah I also have a mug to trim and yeah that's it. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. <laughs> It's been raining all week again and there's finally blue skies which means I can do some pottery outside but the only problem is I can't open the door. <laughs> this is so frustrating. Literally all I need to do is go outside and make pottery it's the first day that it hasn't rained in like a week and I have so much to catch up on but the door won't open I'm gonna carry on trying at it otherwise I can climb through the window <laughs> okay I might do that
Okay, so the plan is to make a vase out of this. I'll stack this one on top of that one. Obviously cut out the bottom so that it's a full cylinder. And then I wanna pinch pot a dome for the top um, so that it's a vase that kind of goes like that. <laughs> I used some of the mud tools for throwing these. So I used the blue sponge while pulling and it worked so nicely, it just went really smoothly so I'm really happy with that, I'll definitely be using that again. And then I used the green rib which is the hard one, sturdy one, um, to shape the walls to be thin and to scrape off the slip um, which worked really well again so I'm happy with that. It's also not too sharp, so I find sometimes, previously when I used my metal rib, it was very risky because obviously I'm still a beginner and that metal rib's very sharp so it can easily just like go through, um, but this was a really nice balance. And then I also used the needle tool and the modeling tool to um, just fix up the bottom and to like trim it off, the like foot. In a previous clip you saw me working on a whale, again I used this needle tool and the model tool on this side to help with making texture and then I used the red rib which is the soft one to help smooth the surface. I just wanted to burnish the surface and not scrape away and with the whale obviously there's a lot of curves and shape to it so this just like bends really nicely and so that worked really nicely for smoothing and burnishing and then I used the finishing sponge so I just jumped between these two and it worked really nicely to give a nice finish I specifically um, focused on the underneath of the piece because that is going to be raw clay I'm not going to put clays there um, so I really wanted it to make it look as perfect as possible because there's no glaze covering any imperfections or anything. Yeah, next step I'm going to attach these two on the wheel, then we'll just go from there. A quick alpha change because it's way too hot. not as domed as I thought it would be um, and I don't love that the top is handled because this looks nice and straight and perfect and this is quite wonky and like imperfect. I'm adding lines so it will camouflage the wonkiness over here a bit but other than that the actual attachment of the pieces went quite smoothly which I'm happy with. The 
this is the mug that I made in my last video, or the cup, um, with that stained blue clay. This is just fully blue. There's no marbling or anything. Well, I'm not sure if there's marbling, but um, it's supposed to come out blue, so yeah. I thought I'd just trim it, test out my trimming tool. It's the next day and overnight I left the vase under a sheet of plastic. I did this for two reasons, the first one being that the top of the vase was at a different dryness level than the bottom of the vase, so I wanted it to level out. And the second reason being that I didn't want it to dry out too much um, because I still needed to attach the lines to it. So today it was at the perfect dryness for me to attach the lines. 